Hello everyone. So in this video, I will be talking about how to install FFmpeg on uh, Apple Silicon. So as you might know, Homebrew is not available yet fully for Apple Silicon, but what you can do is you can just compile from source. So in order to see how far they are on the Homebrew project, you can just go here on this GitHub page and you can go down and see for each of these tools um, how far they are. If we search here for FFmpeg, you can see there's nothing yet. So apparently the first test failed or something. But uh, as I will show you in this video, you can easily do it by yourself and just uh, run it natively. So one thing to notice is that you can just run the terminal with Rosetta if you want and still use FFmpeg and other tools if they are not supported yet. But uh, we're not doing this, so in this video you will see how we uh, compile it from source and then run it natively on the M1. All right, so the first thing you need is package config. So what this is, this is just a helper tool to compile applications and libraries, and we needed to compile the FFmpeg files. So here we go to releases and then just, I was just sorting it here by last modified and then I was picking the tar package here. And then we cd into the folder here. And now you see we can just do configure but we will see a problem here. So it says error, we don't have the, the glib thing. So what I did, I was just do this with internal glib. Okay. And now it should work. All right, so once this is done, we just do make. And once this is done, we can just install it by by typing sudo make install. I already did this, so I won't hit enter here, but what it will do, it will just copy it over into user local and then whatever folder it uh, puts the binaries in. I think the binary should be in here. And yeah, here you can find it. All right, so next, in order to be able to encode in X264, we are going to download the source from video LAN. Then from inside um, this folder, we will just configure with enable static. This is important because we need the lib x264 instead of just the x264, and this will allow us to uh, make that. So now we can just make, and when this is done, we install it. And we can see here it did install libx264. And then for ffmpeg, we go to ffmpeg.org slash download. So for ffmpeg, I'm using this configuration, which in particular has enable libx264 here, which will allow us to um, use the 264 we just downloaded. So when I did this the first time, I had an error here. I was using non-free, which a commenter on Reddit, Gaian, suggested to not use that because it doesn't really you don't really need it for non-free libs, right? Makes sense. So once this is done, we just do make again. And the rest is the same, so we just we just can install it by sudo make install. And then since we put the prefix it will also be installed into user local bin and uh, you can find it here, mpeg. So in order to see that it's actually running natively, I'm just running a random conversion here. And you can see that ffmpeg runs on Apple architecture. If it would run on Rosetta, you would see Intel here. And apparently it also uses all the uh, performance cores and a little bit of the efficiency cores. So it looks quite uh, evenly spread out. 
All right, there you go. This is how you install FFmpeg natively on Apple Silicon.